seems like the next activity is meal time? How quaint. You were expecting what? Capture the flag? Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. I'll have you know, I was a daycare teacher for four fucking years. You know how many capture the flags I've ran? I'm a master of that bullshit. You're fucking, you're talking some schmackadoodle. Get, get fucked, but that will be these killers in a minute if I was put. All right, all right, Weasel, all right. You arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious fancy epic like you'd find on cable. Dwight and Claudette usher you to your seat, but there's very limited seating directly around you. And oh, great, terrific. It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain other people either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper. Yeah, fuck Trapper. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Raether Trickster. Trickster's here? <gasps> what? Okay. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh yeah, Trickster is here. Surprise. Yeah, well, they don't call him Expected Stir. I'm sorry. Even I get nervous around crowds of killers. And my whole shtick gets a little flustered. Hold on. Did he just say, and my whole shtick gets a little fuzzy? What does that mean, entity? Narrator. Oh, oh, narrator. Oh, God. What, what does that mean? Look at him. Okay. Hey there, you're looking good, Scarlet. Real good. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. If he winks at me like he does at the fucking killer screen, I might just, like, pass out. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapper sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. They can't fit at the table if they sit side by side. <sighs> Dickster, get out of here. I mean, Trickster, shut up, Weasel. Okay, look at this. We can't even fit everyone on screen at the same time. You probably think it was an error, but it's not. It was completely intentional. Let that be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Got that? Okay, Dwight and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on one side, the rest of them will sit opposite of you. Huntress and Trapper can sit at the ends with their enormous, sexy arms. Now that everyone is seated, we can begin dinner. Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. <laughs> we hope you all enjoy. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you didn't actually tell us what you're serving. What are we eating and where is Trickster? It's, it's, it's meat. It's probably from the pig tree that you can loop around for 10 minutes straight. Um, it's probably from the pig tree. Okay. Seasoned with a specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply can't divulge. Herbs and spices. My favorite. Oh, shut up, Trapper. No one likes you. Meat is good. Oh. Weasel. Weasel, look at her. Weasel, fucking look at her. <laughs> Weasel. <clears throat> Meat is murder. Oh. Matt, your boy is a vegan. Matt. Matt. Matt, your boy is a vegan. Hey. Hold on. We need a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to Snapchat this to Matt real quick so that I can tell you guys his reaction. Where is Matt? Not Weasel saying I will give her more we meat later. Um, hold on. Your boy, Wraith, is a vegan. <laughs> I, I'm i just very interested in what his response is. Okay. Uh, which you'd know considering what you've been up to. Who are you to get judgy now? Oh. Oh, that's funny because he's a murderer. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have never been. I'm just, I'm just sharing facts, and, and you need to murder something to eat its meat. So that's, like, technically true. <laughs> Hold on. Cody, Cody texted me. 
Cody texted me, have you seen Hooked on You, a Dead by Daylight dating sim? So I'm messaging him back and saying, I'm 51 minutes in on stream. Okay, okay, here we go, okay. Um, technically true is the best kind of true. Fuck you, Trapper. Okay, enough yapping, let's eat. Wraith is dead ass me. You will see more later, oh my god. Hey, Scarlet, you thinking what I'm thinking? It's gonna be a person on that spit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. Oh. I haven't seen many pigs wearing the wearing palm tree button-down prints, you know? When you look closely at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be the scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I might be sick. Uh, is there anything else to eat? This took 12 hours. And we do literally everything on the island. Actually, there's one thing you're not doing today. You're not carving up this delectable meal. Wow, he's right for a change, because I am with my broad axe. It's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain. In twain. 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 Mommy. <laughs> First, who says twain? Sometimes I swear it's like we're all from completely different historical eras. Second, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful, and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No blood. It's like we're from completely different historical eras. Shut up. Shut up, Trapper. Okay. Ugh, you two are ridiculous bicep swinging contest. You two and your ridiculous bicep swinging contest. Enough. Grow up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Ops. The hell it is? Oh, I'll show you both my katana and send you to actual hell if you'd like. Please stop. Please. I hate when we fight or talk or even when we look at each other in the eye. I can do it. I have the skull of Azarov. Great. Instead of slicing it up, you can club it to a second death. Oh my god. Hey, Scarlet, I know this isn't what you want to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix. I mean, dinner. No! 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 We are not eating Felix! I love Felix! No! Felix? Oh my god, not Felix. Okay, alright. Why can't it be somebody that, like, nobody likes, though? Why, like... Like, um... <clears throat> like... Quentin? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No hyperbole. Uh, they once argued over who had the most effective weapons for 72 straight hours. And it doesn't matter which one does it. When they're all done, they will take even longer cleaning their weapon, all while explaining the value in maintaining your duels. He didn't make the cut. Shut up, weasel! <laughs> Despite being a bunch of cold-blooded killers, for some reason they're always terrified of tetanus. But, like, you're, you guys are dead. So, like, I'm confused. Hey, why don't you just let me carve up Felix dinner? <clears throat> Felix dinner? You know, I had a crush on Felix. Fuck you. Yeah. Splendid idea. We'd hate for it to get cold. He hated when it got cold. Here's a machete. Freshly sharpened. Who uses that? Mind games consist of two parts. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. This, press the space bar, yep. To achieve a perfect success, land on the, yep. Ready to play or would you like me to repeat that? I'm ready. Fuck. <laughs> Spirit, babe, but mommy hunches, I agree. Fuck. I'm not doing good. Oh, I hit that one. No! Oh, it keeps going around. That was pretty good. I'd like to see what you could. I'd like to see what you can do with a less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machetes are dumb. <laughs> Dinner is finally served. For real. This sounds especially coming from the masked killers while they eat, which involves lifting their masks and shoving food up behind them, are nasty. 
<laughs> Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to be really embracing being dead. They're all dead, right? This is obviously hell, I mean. Come on, we're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mystery comes easy? Claudette and Dwight aren't the only ones who've been working their asses off to make this night perfect. Well, at least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just tried to mash stuff through there. Spirit, <clears throat> honey, darling, bae, why aren't you hungry? The two best things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, Scarlet. Number two is no number two. One less thing to think about in the afterlife. I'm out. I'm done. Spirit. Spirit. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually follow. Oh yeah, you might shoot your pants. You might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating in a spectral form. No. No, I didn't notice. Do you see how deep this cut is on my abdomen? Do you see how deep this cut is? My this cut on my abdomen is? Fuck! I don't think my digestive chat see connects anymore i don't know let me get a closer look maybe cop a feel okay uh between the when she got her hand when she got her hand like that yeah i know between the food and the behavior of the group this might be the worst meal in history but even worse is they're staring at you you're not eating they don't like that i think they want an explanation why what do you want to tell them Oh my god, McCoy, chef. Chef, it's not what it looks like. I can't handle this game. I've never been this bad da down bad. Yeah, no, I can't even. Like, I'm I'm, I'm so thirsty right now. Oh my god, McCoy. Chef, this isn't what it looks like. This isn't what it looks like, chef. I can explain. Um, This is gross. I'm sorry. Look at that seagull. Oh no. I don't want to insult them by saying it's gross. It is exactly what it looks like. Chef? Chef? Chef, no, it's not. Look at the seagull, Chef! Chef, look at the seagull! Wow, you ever see a seagull that big? I haven't. Th that's incredible! Anyways, what were we talking about? <clears throat> lame misdirect. Okay, mommy. Yeah, she's right, Scarlet. Pretty lame. Own who you are. Never compromise. Don't you- didn't you wash up on this island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? Shut up, Trapper! Yes. You did, poor thing. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal, and you have, and you've been standing in the sun. But, but this, but, but the sea, but the seagull. This is the equivalent of my parents walking in on my anime during the fan service segment, and they don't understand what fan service is. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, he just made a lot of good points. I, I swear, you're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me. Maybe you need to eat to survive here. Either that or someone poisoned you. No, wait. You haven't eaten, so you can't be poisoned. Hmm. Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> it's me again. Why does Bing, boy look Bing Bong look like a pretty boy? Yeah. I can Bing Bong him late. I I'm ignoring you, Weasel. I'm ignoring you. Oh, hey, it's me again. Your friend, mentor, and guide. Narrator to the narrator. The ocean. Not sure how I feel about that characterization, but I'll allow it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one who can help you now. There's only one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. Clearly it's to simp ocean. Uh, no one can tell you, not unless you follow the right path. Or at least a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them. Because there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Ignoring me like my dad now. Shut up. Shut up. Um, starting scenes over and having to fast forward back to where you were, am I right? For this place holds many secrets, even from itself. But the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? Why are you here? Answer that and you'll learn the truth. The ultimate truth. Vague, mysterious, I gotta give it up to this ocean character. That's some quality early game story, darling. Hold on, I'm back. 
one more piece of advice. You've made many choices by now. Some of them I've liked, some of them I did not. Okay, Ocean, what the fuck's your beef? Why do we have beef? Okay. It's in your best interest to make more choices that I like. For the choices might be yours to make, but they're mine to reward. Okay. Okay. You wake up to find Huntress holding your limp body, gingerly pouring cool water into your mouth. Just picture that, Weasel. You wake up and Huntress is holding you and she's pouring cool water into your mouth, Weasel. <laughs> Weasel? Weasel? Oh, good. You're okay. Sometimes when I try to care for people, they have a way of ending up less alive than when I started. It's the lore. It's the... She doesn't mean to kill the, the like... Is it kids? Like, she doesn't mean to kill the people that she has captive. She just doesn't understand how to take care of them. There's a disconnect between, like, um, this person's alive and needs to be fed between, like, her being, like, dead or some shit. Like, it's just... Wish it wasn't just water. Weasel, shut up! Um, which would be a total bummer if that happened to you. It's been so long since I had a normal, happy, healthy living person around. I know, mommy. Your intentions are good. It's just... You don't... You don't know. You're a little bit of a space cadet. Usually I'm just falling into the same old routine of smashing everyone's heads open with a hatchet before I really get to know who they are as a person. Okay. Hey, Weasel. Um, being that you were a Huntress main for so long, do you, you... Do you get to know any of them before you, like, hurl your hatchet at them and make them want to DC because you're an OCAF gamer? Mommy's teasing me again. Quit it, Huntress. Shut up, Weasel. But you, you're not nearly as scared or too busy writhing in pain for me to see me for me. You feel nervous in her arms, not just because they're maybe crushing you a little bit, but because she's beautiful. Yes, beautiful, but I was just going to narrate the fact, not, you know, say it out loud as a single word like some creep. Beautiful mask. Your your bunny mask, it's, it's quite gorgeous. <clears throat> no, I just hit them over the head and give them a, a concussion so they black out to DC. Well, he did say come here, girl, so I assume they know each other. Nice recovery! <clears throat> Moving on. But, but now that you're awake and talking, you gotta keep this up. Did you make it yourself? You're the first person to ever ask me that! Yes, I did. You seem so quirky and cool. You could do anything. Own an Etsy store, be a doctor. Why is it that you kill people? Huntress sighs. You can practically see the memories flickering across her eyes. But she hasn't tried to kill you yet, so that's a good sign. I think I know her well enough. <laughs> it's all I was ever taught to do as a young girl, so I thought it was right. Even through the mask, you can see that Huntress is blushing a bit. It seems like your line of questioning has made her a little nervous. Hey, you didn't eat much at dinner. Want a snack? All right, Weasel. Weasel, it's time, my boy. It's time, my boy. Weasel. Weasel. Okay. She offers you some jerky, probably human jerky, but her spice game is on point because it smells pretty damn good. It better not be Felix. Yeah, I'll accept it. When on murder, Murderer's Island, you might as well eat as the killers do. Plus, you really are hungry and you can chow down on some jerky, essentially, right? I'd love some. <laughs> Mommy. Okay. After a moment of quiet chewing on what you choose to believe is not human thigh meat, you decide to be bold and ask another question. Have you ever been in a relationship before? Dang, you're really going there? You do not play around, Scarlet. Hell no, I'm to the point. That's mommy, and I'm getting mommy. I, um, hmm. <laughs> Huntress takes a moment to think deeply before answering. I must say, it's quite amusing to see this hulking bombshell get all twisted up with these personal questions. Kudos to you, Scarlet. There was this one deer that looked at me quite provocatively in a clearing once. But 
that doesn't count, does it? You hear the faintest giggles bubble from behind Huntress's mask. <laughs> You're so cute, Huntress. No, it doesn't count. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? You found something in the sand? Huntress reaches down to pick it up. It's a hair clip, probably left by some little girl who was playing on the beach long ago, who is definitely still alive and not at all dead. <gasps> Huntress closes the bag of jerky with the hair clip. Seems like she's a little mixed up on how exactly this particular item works. Should you go with the flow or show off some of your knowledge of advanced humaning? I show her a thing or two. You silly goose! You chuckle before reaching for the bag of jerky. You take the barrette off and collect a lock of Huntress's hair. Flipping it back into an attractive swoop. <gasps> Weasel! Much better. Huntress is so happy that you taught her something new about human trinkets. She, she, uh, she touches the clip in her hair with a shy smile. How could you not go with Huntress? Just as things are really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you and you quickly spin around, ready to fend off whatever new danger has popped up in this strange island. I could teach her a lot more soon. Shut up, Weasel. <laughs> Only to find that it's Dwight and Claudette sprinting across the beach, clipboards in hand, uh, which they're waving in the air above their heads. Oh my god, are you gonna make me sound like an NDA or like a waver? 